I'm going to show you how the nest house is built up with uh, the teleports. So basically, you have the the downstairs area of the house. Uh, this warp leads to destination 100, which is the ONET map. Um, and here you can also uh, change the sound effects. For example, a click of a door, or of a door, or uh, for example, for this one, uh, going up the stairs. Basically, sound effect is when you when a, a, a user collides with the teleport, and sound effect exit is when the other map is loaded. So basically, uh, this one uh, goes to destination map zero, which is uh, the same as saying uh, jump to the same map but through to another coordinate. So basically we have a, a, a big map uh, with enough space in between so people can't see the, the other parts and you just warp them around uh, like this. This this, mo this warp goes to this, uh, this teleport and the other way around. This one goes to Nessa's sister uh, room which is uh, somewhere over here. So basically you have your, your warps uh, whenever you have uh, an area like a house and it has a downstairs and an upstairs or several other rooms just put all the the, the textures because this is just a one one texture uh, in one map and have them far enough for, from each other so uh, they can't be seen the, the, there's no use in making uh, uh, a map for every room that's not really needed Another useful tool in the editor is the database editor. Here you can uh, modify or add items, NPCs, quests, uh, alliances, shops and game messages. For example, here is a, a loaded item with the three dots you can select an item to load and modify it if you want, save, delete or create a new item. Uh, the character templates is something more useful. In uh, SVO, we have a lot of of, of uh, NPCs already. Basically, you have the the enemies and then all the NPCs. For example, here's the here's a happy happy store guy. Let it load for a second. And then uh, basically, what I do when I add NPCs is. Um, I select uh, an al already made NPC, I hit new, like this, yes I would like to make a new template and then it asks if it should copy the current values into the new template which you would l want to do basically because then the, the alliance ID, the, the AI is already set and uh, I have uh, usually uh, an emulator open with the area I'm working on and then I check which NPC is in a specific area and then uh, I, I give it a, a description for name so I know uh, which I NPC it is and I can put it uh, when I'm putting it on the map I know okay this one should go there um, basically the only thing for now you can do for regular NPCs not enemies is uh, change the body type. For SVO, we have uh, we have two folders, basically the females and the males, and also some others which are monkeys. Um, what I do is uh, I have this this uh, this uh, Windows Explorer window, and I put it next to my editor, and basically whenever I, I'm uh, trying to add uh, body IDs, I just see if I'm okay. It's is it a male? I open it a bit up and I just scroll through the the folders and see if I can find. For example, if I want 7066, I just go here, hit Control F, and 7066. Poof, there you go, and hit OK. Then you have the body ID and the NPC will will be correct. Usually I do this uh, on the fly when I'm adding NPCs. That way I don't have to remember uh, exactly which name or description 
had to go on which part of the map. There are still some problems with uh, the Alliance and Shops editors. Uh, basically, uh, the the values you add aren't saved correctly into the database. So for now, uh, whenever I add items to shops, I just do this directly into the database with SQL Yog, which is a free database MySQL database managing tool. Um, then. Uh, Another editor you might want to check out is uh, are those three editors over here, the music editor, sound editor and body editor. Basically when you add, add music to the music folder, um, they will appear over here when you hit update. This is just a list of all the music and their respective ID number, which you need to add when you want music on a map for the sound editor is the it's the same thing just hit update whenever you edit new sounds the the body editor in SVO is um or in in the netcore editor in general um shows you shows you some uh, more information basically the 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 stand and wall can jump and fall parts are for uh, the the side scroller parts so you don't really need those to f the need to to in, uh, uh, enter them. That's what I wanted to say. Uh, but if you want, this one doesn't have an update. So basically, if you want to add a new body, you just hit new, uh, fill in the 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 position or the location where where it is on uh, in respect to the 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 top down folder. For example, the enemies are in maps, and then the enemy name, players are in player, default, male, and so on. There we go. Uh, the skeleton editor is something I'm not going to discuss because I haven't used it myself. It's also just for the, the side scroller part. So as an example, I have here uh, a map, the database editor with characters loaded over here. Here I've got a NPC spawn uh, window. Basically, I just add uh, a spawn, define its area, and then uh, add the character ID, which I might have just made just uh, a second ago over here. And this is just uh, an iterative process. You create the, the character you create a new spawn, you fill in the character template ID and you make uh, a spawn area.